Hey there everyone, this is Alcal playing Mario 3, a set at run, no coins, no coins, no coins, and no score. I'm not sure what to expect out of World 7, honestly. It could go real bad, it could go okay. I think this level has like a big skip, or is that 6? I forget. And the point is, like, the speedrun, like, you wedge through like a wall in the intro and you just kind of fly. No, I don't know how to do it, and I don't think I want to do it. Let's just figure things out here. It's the pipe zone. It's the zone of pipes. Which is also like a bunch of islands. It's also like this weird little archipelago area with pipes. Just lots of plants. It used to be tropical, but then people put ceramic tubes everywhere. It's truly, it is a story about preservation and ecology. Because if you put all your wildlife and whatnot inside ceramic tubes, then they would be preserved and you wouldn't have to be afraid anymore. Uh, that, oh, um, can I dodge these? I don't think I can. Like, I'm looking at how they're grouped there, but I think it's just like some kind of like super arcane super luck. That makes it so that I'm still big and I can just tank those turtles down there and not even think about it. <laughs> wow. All right. Okay. Star Mushroom Star. Now that's what I call worth three dollars at a casino right there. <laughs> totally not lucky. I believe that pipe leads to that pipe we can see on that ex like you know next to that plan that's eating around to, like where there's that door. So we wouldn't be able to do much there on our own. Yeah, it's a door for later. However, I believe this pipe leads to that pipe up there where you can get the mushroom house. So we're going to do that. Did it. Whoa, pick a box. Every candy corn has five souls. So you got to take that into consideration. There's no candy corn here though, so we're gonna be okay. Look at that pipe and here we go. This one I think I need to bring a tail, but before we panic, let's let's take a look for ourselves. That guy's got the chops. It's, it's pretty good for him. I'm just gonna ignore that guy. I cannot. Okay, well that was just me being impatient. It's cause I believe there's a place where you are expected to make a coin bridge the most interactive gameplay element in the world. And what I want to know is if you can just jump over it or... Uh, oh, you know what, that's fine. What? No, that's not fine. It would have been fine. Upwards. Upwards. There you go. Then you do that. I did it. I solved a puzzle. Because there's this guy here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but it's not coins. It's wow. It's musical blocks. It's like it's like they expected this to happen or something. That is wow. Well, all right. I'm not complaining. I'm just. I was certain it was coin money, but no. I mean, if it's no blocks and then no one's got any problems anywhere. Check it out, we got all these plants together, shooting fireballs, it's like, what the hell? No, not down here. Uh-oh. Well, it was a bit trapped. A little bit. Could have been a coin. Like, it could have been like a fun little coin block surprise that would just, like, kill me forever. And I'm like, wow, thank you, coin surprise. You're the best. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Like seriously see if I can just one jump this. It seems like a big jump. But you jump real far. No, I wanna kinda hang out on top so I can do jumps more easily. 
There we go, managed to get here. You know which pipe to go into because it's embedded in the ground. And you even, well, in this version, you got the special, like, bricks background to differentiate it from the universe around it. That's pretty cool. And you know, it's the extra touch. It shows that extra touch was put, like a little extra effort. We did it. We get to go in a pipe and say hello to a pipe. I can't believe it. Number three, here we go. That's a level with normally features a star chain. Something we are not free to indulge in, unfortunately. But hey, we can always pretend, like just imagine. Keep getting stars from those little block formations. It's a lot of fun. Lakitu's back. He's back with the old friction bowl. Uh oh. Yeah, I saw that. He was gonna hit me. Because, because you know, you got things like Lakitu throwing weird, abstract, rolling green things. Like, why couldn't it just be normal spiny eggs with spinies in it? No idea. Oh, jeez. That was those physics. I thought just go in the hole. a lot more useful for me. Yeah, I'm just gonna- ah, oh, shoot. We gotta do another Lactu dance. Well, that was a pretty uninteresting version of the dance, where he just casually floats off screen very slowly. Hey, I'll take it. World 5 is completely pointless to beat. You cannot- it does not lead to the end. That pipe you see, well, I'll showcase, I guess. And, well, I mean, I guess I can try- I don't know if the level is possible, is a thing. We'll see. Like, I cannot speak with authority here on whether or not this level is possible. So, we're going to find out. I, okay, so as of now, everything is okay. Alright, so... Uh, 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 Alright. We're safe for now, I can do that. You're not... Okay, I thought so. Whoa, you just went through the wall there. Uh, yeah. Dang it. Now see here, I mess it up. I'm... Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. The timing's bad. So I tried to turn around at the last minute, but that's not going to work. I can just do that. No problem. So I can just do that, no problem. Ugh, I think, okay, anyways. So, if I have it wrong, I die because I'm gonna hit a coin. <laughs> and I forgot which one it is. Ugh. Don't be afraid to double back. Alright, I tried the furthest one, now let's try the second furthest one. Did it, I'm alive. Now I can go down here. I don't know why. No siree. Uh, okay, well for now this is... Can I do that jump? I think I can just do... I think yeah, you can totally just get up there. You don't need to bounce on a turtle. That would be foolish. Alright, here there's invisible coin blocks in places, I think. So I gotta be careful. Can I do that? Ah! Well... Oh, no! Maybe... Dude... Impossible is a problem. So if you flag them, you do get points. Can I charge to P speed? 
need to... I can, and that was a trick. All right. That was a, yeah, so I wasted a tail. That's, uh... And it's impossible. I don't think I can do that jump. The only way it's possible, it looks like, is if you use a P swing. When you swing with the P. Because you can't do that jump because there's a barrier in the way. So there you go. Waste a lot of time and one tail just to show that you cannot beat this level without using a P switch. But since it doesn't lead anywhere useful, I'm gonna have to skip it. It is concluded. There's a clear gap between the pipes. Good times. I got a spare frog suit. I should load it up for here. Just because, like, I don't- I think this is the last swimming level? Last underwater level, so, like, might as well use it. So we got these fish generator. It's kind of like an eerie generator, except it's fish. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it! You got action squid together at last with a family hour. What a blast! Explode your family! Then they vaporize. It's very tragic. This is where the jellyfish swim. In reality, it's like a layer 2 scroll kind of thing. I mean, it's not literally layer 2 probably because there is a background. No, you can have layer 2 in the background. It's layer 3 without a background. The well, point is, there's a fish that lives inside that fish and that's pretty cool. So, whoa, there's another extreme explosive family. Except that one, they regenerate their family over time? What? How? How do you do that? Squids can't do that. If you can't, if you do something a squid can't do, you have to report it. You gotta have your quirk registered there, because otherwise you're acting outside the law. We don't want that to happen. Well, this is like super awkward. Alright, it worked out though. Ooh. No! Right at the end! You can see the edge of the pipe! Oh! This is Frog Mario. He looks pretty cool. It completely destroys his posture. And he's all hunched over gross. And he makes a weird sound. He walks like that with a stagger step. He jumps. That's pretty rad. But more importantly, underwater, you just control him with the arrows. And if you hold jump, I think, and make him go like faster. Well, that's how long it lasted. Video games! Things are going pretty good. I'm a frog. I do frog sounds. Uh, I'm just moving. Like, I'm not even... One of my hands isn't even holding my controller. I'm playing a left hand only here. Because I can. It is an advantage conferred to me by my willingness to dress up as a frog. In the middle of, you know, public territory here. I don't know how public this is. I mean, there's a lot of fish. I right, hear I'm gonna go a bit faster. That squid and family is stressing me out. Like, please go away. Please go away. I don't recall you. Whoa. Okay, there's no floor. You can fall, I guess, if you're into that kind of thing. I am not. That's not true. I love autumn, but maybe I like spring more. I'm not sure. They both have their advantages. I'm not a fan of either extremes, though. Winter and summer, they can both get out of here. Uh, try and th throw its children at me. Letting its children do its dirty job for it. That's what I call cruelty. And precise controls around all of these things in my vicinity. I will ignore it. That's a given. I'm just gonna go here and ignore you, please. See, the trick is to have is to be a frog. So you can go brit, brit, brit on the ground all day long doing a weird little squishy sound. What up? I need those. They might become handy. And the unfortunate thing is that I use all my, my frogs here, but I'm going to immediately have to pick a tail power up to be this. I guess. I can showcase this. So this is what replaces um, the Hammer Bros. Wow, you cannot do that jump, really? Because you need like... Eh, eh. 
So yeah, this is what replaces the Hammer Bros in Pipeland, Calcutta. Uh, it's the potatoes. Remember these from all of Anna Kitty's hacks? They take way longer to transpose themselves than I'm used to. This is kind of comical. Alright. This is a lot easier than I remember it being. Yeah, that's right. I'm ducking. I'm quacking. It's quack time. So yeah, instead of having Hammer Brothers that roam the land, you get these little weird levels. I don't know. I think they're kind of neat. They're just awkward. Whoa, that weird echo. Everyone's having fun. Alright, so I don't think I need to P-switch. But I definitely need to fly. I'm gonna show you why. So this is basically like the precursor to what Haunted House levels are gonna be. Because really all you gotta do is like basically a level puts you on a weird loop. Well, all you really need to do all this time is fly up here and miss, but it's fine. Like, you can try as much time as, as you want. Yeah, there's a bunch of rooms, but at some point you find a secret that leads you to a tanuki, in case you don't have any flight of your own. And then you find this pipe up here on the ceiling, it's like, whoa, I beat the puzzle. Can't, whoa, okay, well, you know what? I probably deserve it. That was kind of silly getting hurt that way. I didn't put a save before loading up that tail, so I could have lost another one. And that's half of World 7. There's only two fortresses, so see, here you can go to World back to Stage 1 if you want to do that kind of thing. I'm not interested by that, but some people might. 